Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial I will show you how you can get started with Unity by making your first terrain. So let's get started. First we are going to need to create our new project which will be a 3D template and I will name it my first terrain. You can name it whatever you want. create okay now we are ready to start our first terrain but first before we continue we want to download some assets like textures or some tree objects and a few other things so I'm gonna do that right now and I will give you all the links to download the assets with me but first I will show you how to do this if you have never downloaded anything from the asset store. Okay, right here we're gonna search something like ground texture. And we would go down here to the free assets and we can find all the free assets that are available from the asset store. So we are going to need this one right here and we simply are going to click import here and we will leave the rest for the unity. So click import. Okay, so now we have added our texture. So pause the video, go download the rest of the materials that we need and come back. Welcome back everyone. Something that I forgot to mention before, if you can't find this asset store here window, you can simply go here window, windows and choose the asset store. And this will be available for you. Okay, so now let's continue. What we need to do right now, we're gonna right click here on our hierarchy and choose 3D object and down here we will click terrain. And here we have our first terrain. But as you can see by default, the terrain is really huge. So what we are going to do, we will click on our terrain. And here on this icon, which is like a gear, we will click on it and scroll down right here, which says width and length. And from 1000, we are going to do it 100. And as you can see right now, our terrain is much smaller okay one more thing that we want to do is we will change the position to minus 50 on the x-axis and minus 50 on the z-axis and why is that because when we will create a new object like a cube and reset the transform of it it will be exactly in the middle of our terrain which is something cool that we want Okay, right now, the first thing that we want is to add some texture. So click on this little brush, and right here, you need to choose the paint texture. And now, click on the Edit Terrain Layers, create a layer, and right here, scroll all the way down, and we can find our textures that we have just unloaded. And right now, I will choose this one which is like a grass okay right now the first texture we apply it into all our terrain and if we zoom in we can see it okay right now we want to add some more textures so we can paint okay I will choose something like this one it looks like a rock okay now by simply choosing that one if we scroll down we can find a few settings right here which is the brush size if we increase it we can paint more space but I will leave it like something five for now and here the opacity you can see if we increase it much more 
it paints immediately without fading it. But I will leave it something like 10. And we can start painting our terrain, making a little path. Okay, right now a cool thing is the raise or lower terrain, which basically give us the option to create a few hills. Right now we'll increase a little bit our brush and the intensity is good to leave it as much lower as you want. Okay, also another good thing is, as you can see right here, I did it a really huge hill. So if I click on shift, left shift, and click with my mouse, I can lower the terrain. So I can make a hole right here. And also you can always click Ctrl Z to undo your settings. Now what we are going to do, we will add some trees. Okay, so basically we have downloaded from the asset store a few trees. So click here on this one, on the paint tree, click edit trees, add a tree. Right here we want to choose a tree that we want. So we can add them, all of the trees. I will simply add two different trees right now, just to show you. Okay. Our brush size is really huge, so I'm going to increase it, decrease it up to 50. And here the tree density, I will, we will decrease it up to 20. And if I simply click, you can see I have added a few trees. If I increase the tree density up to 50, I will add more trees okay as you can see there is a wind into our trees which I'm not gonna show you in this video I will make another video because I don't want this one to be very long and simply like that we can create some trees we can make a much more no, that's too big. Something like 30. Here we can add more trees. Also, if we click left shift and click on our tree, as you can see, they removed. So, that's cool. Okay, so one last thing that I forgot to mention is a skybox. Basically, a skybox will change our sky how it looks. So if we go here, this folder that we have just downloaded, then open materials, here we can find a few materials that we can choose. So if we drag and drop, we can see our sky has completely changed. And there are many different scenes to choose. But something important right here, as you can see, the sun points from that way. So the shadows are completely wrong. So what we can do right here, we can select our light and we can rotate our light. And we will make it more realistic. So like this, the sun points somewhere right here. So all the shadows will be from this side and there are many skyboxes to choose from my favorite is this one which is so nice okay 
So basically that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.